Happy Vlogmas! That's right, we're back in the kitchen. We are. Your last video that you watched from us, we can't see you. Your last video that you watched from us, we made cookies. They didn't taste great. Joe actually ate all of his, I got halfway through and was like... <laughs> we had like the really burnt-y ones, so they weren't, they were probably the worst. But yeah. We've sort of packaged them up. I mean, they looked great. I think we did a great job, but... Well, yours looked great. They didn't taste Mine that didn't great. great. So we're back, not exactly with a cooking video, but today we're going to make Joey's favourite Christmas treat. Eggnog latte. Woo! Well, we're going to make the eggnog, um, and then it needs to chill, and then we'll add the latte bit. So come back, come back to the Thai kitchen. <laughs> Okay, so what we need is, I've measured everything out, look at, I've learned already. So we need, <laughs> if you can it. show it off, so we need 50 grams of caster sugar. 50 grams of caster sugar. sugar. We need four egg yolks, I haven't done those yet, but I will. Four do. eggs. The eggs are there, we'll do the yolks. We need one teaspoon of vanilla essence, which we will measure up, lovely. Um, 397 grams of condensed milk. And it says brandy, but we probably won't put brandy in, will we? No. So, it says to start with, put the sugar in a saucepan with 75 millilitres of water, stir until the sugar has devolved, and then cool and chill. Do you want to do that? what? Cool and chill. Until the sugar's what? Cool and chill. No, you said dissolved. No, I didn't. Oh. You said... Dissolved. Has dissolved been cool and chill? you didn't say dissolved. You went... You know, like, I, my voice speaks too quick than the other. My voice speaks. <laughs> like, my voice gets, it gets ahead too quick. You know, right, my voice speaks Here's the too sugar, quick. here's the water. You've got to keep going. So, put the sugar in a saucepan with 75 millilitres of water. Simmer until the sugar has dissolved, then cool and chill. That is you. Right, I am going to use four egg yolks. So this is from the BBC Good Food Ofs, because I said last time, that's basically where I get, oh no, yolks. <laughs> so I need a separate bowl, don't I? Can you get me another bowl? It's the yolks, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Does it matter if some of the white's in it? Because this looks like it's like... Yes and not. Okay. That one's like completely broken it. Um, yeah, I live for the BBC Good Food. Oh, I also like BBC Good Food. They have some good recipes. I could say they have some good recipes. BBC Good Recipes. It's funny because you can't actually see me, you can just hear me. I can just hear you floating. So I'm just separating the egg yolks and the egg whites. Oh, oh my god. How's it going? Okay. Not doing a very good job. I think you're doing a great job. Cheers, Joe. I needed that moral support. Right. And I'm just bunging it in a separate yeah, thing. I know, it looks disgusting. But needs must. If this was we must do to get you eggnog, then we must do this to get you eggnog. You can just go to Starbucks. This is good too. Yeah, but once we know how to this make it. This is going to be better. Starbucks. Exactly. Ooh. Because it's us. Exactly. Right. Oh no, I dropped egg on the floor. Do you know what I'm going to do actually, while we're like sort of waiting around, I am going to read through um, some questions. So, I think I should still have them. So, a couple of days ago, we put a little thing on Instagram just asking for your questions. So, we're going to just answer Love some of them well. now. So, the first question is, what's your Christmas Eve tradition? 
So what's our Christmas Eve tradition? I don't really have a tradition. I don't think we do, do we? I kind of go to work and pick up any last minute bits. I yes. used to, when I lived at home years ago, would be oh, I'd be the one who has to pick up the turkey from the butchers. You'd have to pick up the turkey from the butchers and we'd always have like Chinese with your nan. I remember doing that two uh, years with you yeah. when your mum and dad went to bingo. Yeah, we don't do that now, we just get Chinese. <laughs> My Christmas Eve tradition at home was that we always got to open one present. I think now our Christmas Eve tradition is literally like, it's been different each year. So I think last year like my family came on Christmas Eve. Yeah. But again, I think what it is, is it's going to get last minute bits. I think one year I spent Christmas Eve at Bista with Kirsty Ronnie, like doing a whole Christmas shop. Yeah. That was interesting. Um, last year, what did we do last year? I think it was, we were collecting everything up. The same, probably was just... Yeah. We just moved into here, weren't we? This says chill, so should we put this in the fridge? Okay, we are back. Right, the sugar syrup is cooled. So it says, cooled. Add the condensed milk, brandy, but we're not gonna add brandy. Um, and the yolks and vanilla, mixing well. Okay, should we just put it all into there? Yeah, Okay, always. I'll add the sugar syrup. Okay, we're stirring all the ingredients. Oh, they can't even see it. <laughs> Come on, see the drama. Stirring the condensed milk. So we've got all the ingredients in it. Oh, God. Mm, nah, I think you're good. Stop. Condensy. It's like rice pudding. Well, you know condensed milk. That's what they used to put in all the Vietnamese coffee. True that. Oh, this looks good. It's beginning to look like, like egg milk. So basically we're making this and then we'll need to chill it for two hours. So I think maybe like pour it in a jug now. I probably just should have stirred it in the jug. Probably. I don't know. Where am I? Is this gonna go disastrous? No, it is not. Is it? Nothing but faith. Yes! Words of George Michael, you gotta have faith. Okay, let's give it another stir. So we're gonna chill this for two hours. We're gonna get some dinner, it is Friday, so we're having chippy tea, and then we'll come back to this and make some coffees. I know what you're trying to do. Put it in the fridge, Joe. Yeah. Put it in the fridge, Abby. Okay, we're back. And um, the eggnog has been chilling. Where is it? I've lost it. Whoa, where is it? The eggnog has been chilling for like two hours. So now we're going to make the coffee. Um, so it's probably going to be quite boring, so we'll probably speed up the process. We need to stir the espresso powder into hot water and set aside. I'm going to do that in here. That won't crack, will it? No, it's plastic. Okay, cool. Let's do that. So we need to do that, and then combine everything, put it in the microwave, froth it all together. Bob's your uncle. Loving it. Need to combine milk and the eggnog. Place in microwave and cook for one minute. Joe. It tastes very eggnoggy. Bastard, how dare it. <laughs> okay, so everything's frothing. And it tastes really good. I had a little, little sneak peek and it tastes. I just did to taste it. Right. Ooh. Oh, that's looking good already. Is it eggnoggy? Yeah. We'll move and we'll stir in the eggnog mixture. Slowly pour in the coffee into the eggnog mixture. This is your time to shine. Now you need to stir. What is it? Oh, it just looks blue from the outside. Okay, stir in the coffee. That's the coffee blue. This is your one. Let me. I want it. Wait. Where do I go? Okay. Go. 
not want it right full to the top. Yeah, that's fine. Right, the possess. What's that word? Piesto resistance. Sure, I don't know. Yeah, I don't and that egg sprinkled on the top. <laughs> Give it a try. Oh, they always. That's gonna kill. Me. <laughs> I don't know. Let's do German. Does it taste like a... It tastes like Christmas. Does it? Yeah, I'm so excited. It smells amazing. Is it good or is it too strong? No, no, it's good. Is there anything that's more dominant? Because that's what the I'm worried about. The nutmeg, because it's fresh on top. I need to let that sit a bit. Oh, just stir it a bit. Maybe I'll get But I liked the colour. No, then after you get like the um, eggnogginess. Egg. The eggnogginess hits you. Eggnog. It's really easy to make, guys, and we've still got some left. We've only made yeah, one. So come on, I'll have some. Um, but it says use within um, 24 hours, but I think that's obviously because it's got egg. egg in it. Oh god, I'm really off. Egg and this nog. Angle. It's got nog in. Nog in. It's a good angle for me. Nog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eggnog lattes, success. They're Bleed very it, good. We're going to add some Baileys to it. I'm going to add some balsam. Some balsam. balsam. Um, but yeah, great success. We'll leave the recipe below. Really nice. We've still got some left, so we might even have some in the morning. But chin chin to the festivities. We already chinned, didn't we? Festivities. <laughs> I'm sorry, if my chin hit you, I'd knock you out. <laughs> um, thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed another edition of Vlogmas. And I look so tired. You do look really tired. Busy day working and stuff. Yeah, I was working too. I feel alright, actually. I don't feel very tired, but this will perk me up. But yes, thanks for watching. Um, mm. Stay tuned. We've still got plenty more Vlogmas days to go. I'm sure there'll be another Tyres Kitchen Edition. What are we going to make next? I don't know, maybe, I, think... I say something simple, we, when I looked on the website, when I was looking back at it, I was like, let me just go through it, it was like, easy recipe, it was like, oh, <laughs> but that's none of my business. So thanks for watching, if you don't already, please subscribe and turn that bell notification on, because it will ding you and give you a little notification when we post a video, Spurring obviously, my hands at the minute this. it's <laughs> every day, why don't you put the little handle in your thing? Thank you for watching. We love you. Good night. Take Bye. care.